Hi, my name is Kelly Parker. I live in Parkville, Missouri, which is just right outside Kansas City. Well, right now I have a basement workshop, so essentially 1,200 square feet of basement that never planned on being a workshop that got converted to a workshop when I made the random decision to become a furniture maker. How do you, how do you get wood in and out of your workshop? Uh, through my Hobbit door. I have a um, five foot tall door that open, both doors open, and so sheet goods come in my Hobbit door across my workbench and into my shop. It's not the best setup, but that's what I've got. That wood is such, for me, it is such a warm material, and I love everything about it. I love the way that it feels when I sand it. I love the way it smells when I cut it. I love the sound that it makes when the little offcuts fall to the floor. It's just a wonderful raw material that I'm just really drawn to. So I use a lot of domestic hardwoods and typically people give me a tree and I, what I find intriguing is the story behind that tree. And so all of my furniture has a story attached to it. I've never had to buy lumber. People give me trees. I've had to pay for getting those trees milled. Um, so I'm typically getting trees that have to come down off a property for some particular reason. So we're not going out into the bush and harvesting a tree. It's because it's been damaged or we're expanding a house and it's where the new foundation goes. So typically I'm getting a tree that way. Um, we'll drop the tree. I'll call a tow truck to take that tree to my sawyer and then it'll stay in my sawyer's lot for a couple of months. Then uh, my sawyer uh, will cut it the way that I want it to be cut, whatever thickness it is. Then I bring it home and it, I sticker it and it goes in my drying shed for a year to two years, depending on the thickness of the slabs before I can actually start processing it. That gives me control of the tree from the moments that it's cut to the moment that I start using it. And because I do a lot of steam bending, I need air dried lumber rather than kiln dried. One of my strengths is design. I feel like my designs are really resolved, yeah. um, but not over the top. It's, it's funny, ideas for me come from anywhere. The a chair that came from fashion. I, ever since I've become a furniture maker, I see shape and form everywhere. I see the world in a way I never used yeah. to. I was driving through downtown Toronto and I was looking at two high rises and the roof sort of did this and there were balconies and I didn't see high rises, I saw the shape between, which was a wood screw. The balconies were the threads of the wood screw and the, the tilt, like that was the top. And I never used to see the world like that. And you know when you've knocked it out of the park, like it just, it, like the curves are perfect, the balance is perfect, the, not necessarily the symmetry, but the piece is balanced. Just every time I look at it, it's like, yeah, I love it. And. And for me, it's a pleasure to go back into a client's house and see a piece, and if that piece still resonates with me and, and makes me smile, then I know that I did it. I know that I did it.